Hey guys, I know this week, um, as I said to you last yesterday, please understand if you've never shared any of these devotions with anybody, sometimes you know we're blessed as we're going to work and we never think about sharing. I want you to find a few Christian brethren that you know and just send it to them because we need to hear this. Hear what Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Verse 3, sorry, says, But I fear that somehow your pure and undivided devotion to Christ would be corrupted. You know where we got saved, where we came to know Christ, and church people are like that. We're all excited. We, we feel so connected. There is such a deep uh, intention on our part to continue to serve God and, and have this love that we have for Him mature with the same kind of passion and determination and we, we we pray that we always be in connection and communicate with him at all levels we were praying to god when things were good when things were bad because it just seemed the right thing to do and then we got mature and i'm not so sure that maturity was actual maturity and not deception because the maturity we were supposed to have is that we would start doing the will of God under the authority of God by the power of the Spirit. The church now has turned to all of these side shows and all of these infighting and conflict, and we're not setting the example for anybody to come in to be like us. Remember, people follow people. So if we're deceived, then the people who come in to follow Christ, using us as their physical example, will be deceived as well. And we've seen too many cults, we've seen too many groups that are branched off into all kind of crazy doctrinal sin. We've seen that. But what we have done is that we've chosen our own poison. And we've chosen things that are not giving glory to God. He says, I fear your pure and undivided devotion to Christ will be corrupted. To say that we're not, we don't have that pure, but when we got saved, that was it. Pure, undivided. We didn't want to get anything else but Christ and then crucified. Now, we're trying to figure out if what the pastor is doing is the will of God and he should be there. Tomorrow I'll talk to you a little bit about that. But this morning, I want to invite you to get back to that pure, undivided devotion to Christ. I want to, I want to encourage you, find back that space in your own heart, in your own mind, in your own life, that says, I am devoted to Christ. And I'm going to mind the business of Christ and not let allow my life to be twisted into every direction like we're a pretzel and before you know it we're facing every direction but remember it's still Christ in us that is the hope of glory it is still Christ that is the head of the church it is still him we're supposed to bow to and give glory from the moment I start taking on anything else but Christ my pure and undivided devotion is lost. So come on, let's get back there in Jesus' name.